The heart rate monitors came into consideration when we received a grant from the NCAA. It was a grant that was uh, specified for student athlete welfare. I felt heart rate monitors would really make an impact and, and have the student athletes understand that we're really trying to make them better. The short answer is it can do everything, uh, really, from an analytic standpoint. Um, so it's just a matter of what we want to use it for. So what it does is measures, I think it's 27 different data points um, that we can then use to um, assess things like player skill level, player fitness level. The main thing that we, we've been using it for um, is to let coaches uh, know exactly how hard their hard days are, how easy their easy days are. So we can look at players' cardiovascular fitness levels, um, we can look at their speed, acceleration. Well, the idea behind the Polar System is really to get our athletes to the next level, to that elite level. And sometimes that's very hard because as much as you think that you're working at your max capacity, sometimes you're really not 100% sure. And this system allows us to actually see where they're at in live time, which is a fantastic tool to have. Many times as coaches, all we see is what we see visually, um, but the heart rate monitors give us tracking data information on what's going on inside of the athlete, uh, information that we can't necessarily access just by being on the field or in the weight room with them. It seems working hardest. We've been using it and we've identified you know, certain areas with, with some guys that uh, have shown you know, like a relationship between like external output versus internal workload type of deal. Um, so it's you know something that we can't really see with the naked eye, but uh, with, the, with the equipment it's really shown that uh, there's a certain relationship that we can take a closer look at. Miranda, you're in the green, let's get you into the orange. There we go. One of the main things coaches want to know is, am I actually simulating game environments in practice? Um, and now we, with this technology, we can actually tell them um, yes or no. You look at any elite team in any sport and they've got these systems that they're using in games and practice so we were beyond excited because the progress that we've already seen in using them this spring has been fantastic and it really gets the student athletes involved in, in their own progression as an athlete on the field. It's more of an advanced technology that you see these high-end Division One teams using. Um, a lot of pro teams, a lot of international teams use this. Um, this was actually originally developed for the Sweden national soccer team. So it, it really is a big deal. It's a pretty advanced technology. Um, not a lot of mid-majors are using this right now. The possibilities are endless. It's a great recruiting tool. It's something that we are showing that we are dedicating you know, our time and energy and, and resources to basically get the best out of our athletes. I think this means for Monmouth that we're a step above the rest of the, the competition. As a coach, you always want things to help give you an edge. It's kind of a little bit of a mini competition within the team, but then within themselves. So you have somebody who's at the elite fitness level. It's hard to push yourself at, at times and, and really kind of even get even fitter, if you will. But this tool will allow that player to take that next step. The guys do, you know, take a look as like how many calories I've, you know, burned today and so on and so forth, but uh, I think it's it's fun. Uh, we try to limit you know that type of stuff during practice so it doesn't you know cause like too much of a distraction. But uh, I feel like the guys like enjoy it. I think it just shows our investment, our investment in the student athletes and the potential of you know what we're what the next level we're trying to succeed at. The, you know our our story is believe, compete, succeed, and and once we get our athletes here, we. We want to be able to compete at a high level and figure out how to succeed. It's a world of possibilities and the, and the student athletes were very excited about having this information.